Hello Pisces, welcome to your mid-August love update reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all Pisces. If this reading does fully resonate with you, please like the video, comment, share the video, like the page. We would love to have you be a part of the community, okay? If it does not fully resonate with you, please take the messages that does resonate and leave the rest behind. All right. Please watch your moon and rising video as well for any additional messages that may be there for you. Again, this is for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and this is for mid-August, okay? We've already meditated on your cards. I've already called in assistance and guidance from the divine, and we're going to go ahead and get started, Pisces. Energy between you and your person. What do you need to release? Your person's energy. Prosperity lies ahead. And your energy. Expect powerful change. Okay, so let's get some main readings out. I mean, main messages out here for you. This is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising for mid-August. Okay. We have the Ten of Air. Your person has the nine of earth. Your energy is the five of air. Okay, so there's a sense of um, some. So somebody was hurt. Could be you. Could be them. Could be both of you. But you, whoever it is, is now getting over that um, that pain that was left behind from you know uh, a harsh ending. Your person is feeling single, right? Your person is feeling very single, very content. And they're ready to start something new in love. Could be a Virgo. Your energy is the five of air. So there's some, um, you know, you just went through some kind of conflict. And now you're you're wanting to, um, you know, get past that. No longer, you know, being, you know, uh, bogged down by the thoughts of whatever it was that took place. No longer letting those things hold you down or hold you back, right? Ready to move on, ready to smile again, ready to laugh again, okay? All right, so let's get more messages out for you. We have the nine of air. Yep, that's that healing that's coming in from that pain that you or both of you uh, felt from either a prior connection or that you caused one another. Your person has the king of water, very, um, very mature in the way that they deal with emotions. You have the queen of water. This, So you and this person, this is your divine partner, okay? Uh, gender doesn't matter. This is just the energy that you, um, that the both of you are in, okay? So please don't get tied up or caught up on the, the genders. It's a general reading. But nonetheless, one of you have the king of waters and the other has the queen. You guys are a divine pair, all right? You guys can have a very beautiful connection with one another, very loving connection with one another because the both of you are showing up as very mature uh, in your emotions and very nurturing as it relates to your emotions. Uh, but I see the three of air between the two of you. So somebody's heartbreak is still holding them hostage and not allowing them to enjoy this connection the way it should be enjoyed. Um, your person has the king of air and you have the four of air. So yeah, it's like you, I feel like it's you that's still you know, tied up or tied to what happened in the past because you were in the four of air. So you're still thinking about things and still need, you know, needing to heal or trying to heal yourself. Your person has the king of air. So it's like your person has now matured in the way that they talk, in the way that they think. And they're no longer, you know, held down or bound by whatever took place. In the past, they've let that go. They're ready to move forward into something new. And this person is speaking this to you and being honest with you, speaking their truth, right? Giving you the clarity about how they feel and what their expectations are. The strength card is here between the two of you. Okay, your person has transformation. You have five of earth. So what I'm seeing is that the person that you're connecting to, this person is... Now in an energy of changing the way they view you or view this connection with you. And they are going to be in a, an energy of looking for that uh, stability and that connection elsewhere. Because they don't feel that they're getting what they need here. 
Um, they're trying to be strong and hold on and give this thing a chance, but they're giving up. You, I feel like you know that this is what's happening with this five of earth because you're feeling something like something is missing. Something is not the same or there's some form of lack that you're feeling, right? It, it, it affects you being grounded. Okay. It affects you being grounded. We have the Ace of Waters, and that's the energy between the two of you. Your person has the Ace of Earth, and you have the Hermit card. So this person is now, there's, so there's a love that can happen between the two of you. All right? There's love. There's there's this cup, you know, of emotions, this, this full cup, right, that can happen with love. But you are still in an energy of having solitude, wanting to stay to yourself, not wanting to to give freely to this connection your person they are really wanting something solid they're wanting a solid new beginning and they're looking to go search for that at this point there's an offer that's coming towards you or coming towards them um, of love okay you're in an energy of trying to work on things you're trying to work on yourself you're trying to work through whatever it is that you went through all right you're trying um it's a little slow, it looks like, but you're putting in the effort nonetheless. Um, your person has the energy. They're, they're, they've gotten through whatever it was that had them hurt or bound. They've gotten through it. And they're ready for a new start. Okay. All right. So let's see what additional messages we can get on the board for you, Pisces. Okay, so romance angels, what are the messages that you have for Pisces? Mid August. All right, to the end of August. What are the messages? What are the messages? Energy between you and your person. Give your relationship a chance. Your person's energy, healing, family issues, your energy, reconciliation. So it's, it appears that, you know, Pisces, it looks like you're still stuck on someone from your past. You, you are stuck on this person or either this person is still stuck on you and they're going to try to return um, because they're now showing up in your energy. Um, you're being called to give your current um, situation a chance. Okay. But again, you have free will. Your person has healing family issues. The love life, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I feel like your person, male or female, I feel like they probably grew up in a um, in a family where maybe they didn't get the type of affection or love from their parents that they needed. One parent, right? Or both. Yeah, that's what I see. So they did not get, um, they did not get the love that they needed as a child so maybe this person is a bit clingy maybe this person is a bit uh needy in your opinion something to that effect is what i'm seeing um this person is wanting more from you than you are willing to give okay for the remainder of August. All right. Looks like that's it. So we have fallen in love. Okay. We have, let me let you see. We have fallen in love. 
holding on we have a focus okay pay attention to the red flags eye on the prize we have organic love all right dedication unconditional love accomplishment happy home so what i see what i'm seeing is that you're being you're being told or the person that that you're connected with right now this situation i mean we've seen that you guys can be a divine pair and from what i'm seeing here on the board right now this person is offering you offering you um pure like very pure very uh unconditional very organic type of love but i'm not sure you know that you're seeing this i'm not sure that you're seeing it because you're being called to focus so I don't think you're acknowledging or that you're seeing how much this person that you're connecting to really cares about you. I think you're still focused on someone from your past. Um, and the love that this person is trying to offer you that you're dealing with right now is not something that you see every day. This is a very a rare, a very organic type of love, okay? Very organic type of love. And you don't see it every day. Mm -hmm. So we have cleansing calmness. It's just, it's here to tell you that you need, you need to cleanse, um, cleanse yourself of things from your past, right? You need to calm your soul, calm your spirit and cleanse yourself. If something, if something leaves, let it leave. Okay. If something stays, let it stay. That's kind of a good mantra to have, you know? If something leaves, let it leave. If something stays, let it stay. But this person's trying to offer you unconditional love. So it's up to you to decide if you want it. All right, Aries. So let's see what the potential outcome is for you. This is for mid-August to the end of August. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Energy between you and your person, king of earth, your person's energy, six of fire. Your energy is the king of air. So this person is definitely wanting to have, they want to have a, um, a victory with you. Like this person wants to be victorious with you. This person is, they're mature, they're abundant, they're very grounded. This person knows what they want. They're very nurturing. Like this person they're clear about what they want, you know, you, you are in the king of air. So you're just, you're, you're so closed off and cold to the idea of being in love. And this person's trying to be patient with you, but mm -mm. no, you're, you're running away. You're running away from love is what you're doing. You're running away from it. Yeah, you're not, it, it, you're just not ready. You want something, you want to offer something, like, you want to offer this person something, but it's so small, you know, it's so small. And I don't know if this person's going to accept something like that because this person is looking for, this person appears to be looking for a package, like the full, you know, yeah, the loaded version, you know, but you want to offer um, the basic version. Yeah, see, this this person is very passionate about having a strong connection, but it's getting to a point where they're they're ready to give up. Like mentally, they're just like, you know what? I'm drained. I'm over it, and I can't keep trying to pursue this. And they're getting to a point of um falling back you know falling back healing themselves and yeah moving on yep and you know you're gonna you're gonna feel their absence you are you're gonna feel it together you and this person i see a power couple i see a power couple together because this is your divine uh, counterpart but i don't see that you're gonna i don't see you doing it i don't see you moving forward
All right. So, Pisces, that's your message. Um, we will be back to update you in a week and see how things are. All right. If this message resonated with you, again, please like the page, like the video, share the video. Feel free to comment. All right. We'll see you in the next reading.